This is so funny. There's a comment somebody left on one of my videos where I'm on the balcony just like this. Oh boy, boy, boy. Bananas and mustard. Why are you faking being on a balcony? I appreciate your effort in giving healing advice, but it makes me a bit skeptical in you as a person. Why do you put on a facade? I can hear you're in a room from the reflection of your voice on the walls, and the green screen cut was poorly made. The landscapers are coming. Ha, ha, ha. Oh boy. Yeah. All right, you know, this is why I created a photography channel, to educate people to the basics of photography, like depth of field and the word bokeh. For those of you like this person who think this is all just fake, why don't you look up the word bokeh, B-O-K-E-H. It basically means Blurry background, that's what it means. That's not really what it means, but that's what it refers to. It's very difficult. The reason this looks fake, and I've been in the film business for 30 years, actually most of my life, so I know these tricks. The reason it looks fake to a lot of people is because the blurry background, bokeh, shallow depth of field, usually only happens when it's dark out like at nighttime. During the day, it's really hard to do because during the day when the light is bright, your camera needs to be at around f16. That means that the aperture is so small so it doesn't burn out the retina, <laughs> so to speak, of the camera that there's a pin dot. When you squint your eyes, which is a similar situation, everything gets really sharp. So what happens is during the day, because of the bright light, everything is super sharp, the background and the foreground. Right now, the camera is at f2. That it means the aperture is wide open and a lot of light is going in. I have neutral density and polarizing filters on there which allow me to be able to do that. Now this is what causes the blurry background. And this is F16 or F20. This is what normally cameras do when they're out in bright sunlight. The hole that allows the light through the lens is really, really, really tiny. It's like a pinhole. It's an aperture hole. Yeah, if this was fake, I wouldn't have allowed landscaping tractor in the background where you can't hear me so yeah i'm faking the landscaping tractor anyway this is the this is what we call depth of field the second thing is when you have the light behind you you need a lot of light on the foreground to balance in the shadows unless you have a lot of super bright lights which i do or flash photography you're not going to get that effect so combining a blurry background and bright lights in the shadow is what gives this effect and that is just one of the basic things of photography is depth of field and bokeh. That's what makes the Hollywood movies look so cool. Now, everybody's photoshopping nowadays and using filters and all this stuff. So they think automatically when something looks like this that, oh, it's fake. Now, let me just say something about even if this was fake, let's say I was in a room with a blank wall and I put some silk flowers behind me. They're not real flowers. Just because what's behind me is fake, does that mean what I'm saying is fake? Does that mean me as a person is fake because the background is fake? I mean, what kind of logic is that? I just like a magical look. I like having a magical life. I like making things better, prettier, more colorful. I, that's what I do. I'm an artist. I like to paint. Uh, you know, uh, motion pictures are that. They're pictures in motion. And the reason I do this is because it's fun. And I like to add a little extra touch. I go the extra mile. I do more than the average person does. I don't just hold a cell phone on my face and go, today's blog is, you know, I like to give magic out there. So that's what I do. The world needs more positive energy, less negative energy. The world needs more hope. It needs more beauty. It needs more help in making life better. And that's what I'm about is making life a better experience for people and more magical. I mean, yeah, reality shows are big. People like the gritty, they like the lack of color and the, you know, they like, I don't know, I like the opposite. I like fantasy, I like magic, I like bright colors and making people feel good and adding magic into people's lives. Yeah, telling them how to eat is one thing, but I like to do it in a magical way. So that's what I am. If you like that kind of thing, subscribe to my channel. And as far as this balcony, oh yeah, the echo off the balcony. The reason you're getting an echo and it sounds like I'm in a room is because I am kind of in a room. There's a roof, there's a wall right there with lots of glass. Hard sound bounces off of hard surfaces. So there's hard surfaces right there in front of me, hard surfaces above me and some poles around me. Uh, this is an echo. You, this is on, a, you know, I, I have a large enclosed half enclosed balcony. 
and that's what you're hearing. And there's a tile floor. So you've got a lot of hard surfaces where the noise is bouncing off of. So yes, this is a real golf course behind me. And yes, this is a real balcony. My voice is real. I'm real. The message I'm giving is real. Uh, the balcony is real. Everything is real, except maybe the view that some people have of life. They think that, you know, everything's a conspiracy or a fake or whatever. And yes, the balcony is even real from that angle. That's why I created a photography channel, Marcus Picks, M-A-R-K-U-S-P-I-X, so you can learn more about stuff like this. And, you know, I love photography. That's what it's about. And that's what I created that channel for, to educate people a little bit more about things like this. So stay tuned for the next video. That's going to have maybe not a real background, but it will have a real message. Well, most of my backgrounds are real, actually. This why not? I got beautiful backgrounds, but I don't care. And by the way, I don't use a green screen. I usually use blue screen. Quiet, go away. Make a video here.